very good morning to all children how are you all today's class we will discuss about chapter 6 in chemistry the name of the chapter is physical and chemical changes okay in chapter there are two types of changes one is physical change another one is chemical change okay in this lesson we will discuss these topics first one physical changes what is called chemical changes then rusting of iron chemical reaction galvanization and
original uh, material that is called physical change so change is temporary and it is reversible no new substances are formed and at the last point no net energy change is involved so these are all the characteristics of physical changes okay see it is a time for your turn see look at the question physical change is a dash change what is the answer it is a temporary change and it also in a reversible change and the second one in a physical change a substance undergoes change in its dash properties in its physical properties so what is the answer in its physical properties okay and the next one chemical changes what is called chemical changes see a chemical change in which a new substance with the different properties are formed for example the burning of paper we can get that ash only so a change in which a new substance with the different properties is formed in a chemical change then the original form of substance cannot be obtained by simple physical method so we cannot uh, get the paper again from the ash okay so the original form of a substance cannot be obtained by simple physical methods okay see what are the examples of chemical changes burning of paper this is an example of chemical change and the next one rusting of iron this is an example of chemical changes see this is iron iron is when it is exposed in a moist air for a long time it gets rusted okay look at the picture it is an iron it is a rusted iron so we cannot get from this the original iron isn't it so it is called rusting of iron so it is an example of chemical change and the next one curdling of milk see from milk we can uh, convert this milk into curd from curd we cannot get the milk again so it is an irreversible process so it is an example of chemical change then burning of coal this is also an example of chemical change then ripening of fruits this is also an example of chemical change again burning of sulfur it is also an example of chemical changes then fermentation of grapes it is also an example of chemical changes okay and the next one what are all the characteristics of chemical changes see chemical change is a permanent and irreversible change that is we cannot get the original from the product okay so it is an irreversible change and the composition of substance changes energy is either given out or absorbed by the system in a chemical changes okay it is a time for your turn look at the question and answer the following burning of candle wax is a dash change physical or chemical the answer is chemical change burning of candle wax is a chemical change think about melting of wax Melting of wax is a physical change, but burning of candle is a chemical change. Why we cannot get the candle again, so it is a chemical change. Then breaking of glass tumbler is a dash change. It is a physical change. Okay, and the next one. Spoilage of wood is a what change? It is a chemical change. Why because we cannot get the Uh, pure food from the spoiled food, isn't it? So it is a chemical change. Then beating aluminium metal to form aluminium foil is an example of physical change. Right? Because we can get the aluminium metal again. So it is an example of physical change. Okay. And the next one. Physical and chemical changes. What is an example of both physical and chemical changes? See growth of a human. It involves change in the overall size of the human body, which is a physical change. So, uh, the overall size of the human body is an example of physical change. But during the growth of the human body, many existing organs grow in size, and some new organs are formed. So, it is a chemical.
The next topic is chemical reaction. What is called chemical reaction? See, a chemical change is also known as chemical reaction. Okay, make a note of it. A chemical change is also known as chemical reaction. Substances that undergo chemical reactions are called reactants. Okay, substances that undergo chemical reactions are called reaction. Reactants. For example, hydrogen and oxygen mixed together to form a water molecule H2O. So here hydrogen and oxygen are called reactants. Okay. New substances produced as a result of chemical reactions are called as products. For example, I, I told you hydrogen and oxygen reacts together to form water molecule H2O. So in this H2O, uh, hydrogen and oxygen are reactants. What is the product formed? We can get water molecule. H2O that is known as product. Okay. See, for example, on heating magnesium in air, it burns with a dazzling white flame to form magnesium oxide. So, magnesium and oxygen are reactants. So, magnesium and oxygen react together to form magnesium oxide. So, magnesium oxide is known as product. Okay. And the next one. Water. 
Christian is used to separate prisoners of pure soldiers from the solution. Let us prepare prisoners of pure public subway with the help of crystallization. For this, we need water, copper sulfate, beaker, glass water, funnel, filter paper, china dish, tripod stand, wild horse, and spirit pan. Take approximately 50 milliliters of water in the beaker. Crystals from the solution containing other substances. 